I'm going to remove the front subframe from the Mini and take it out in its entirety. The uh, first part of that job is to jack the car up and support it on axle stands with a large piece of wood which I've um, put underneath the jacking points of the car which I figure to be the strongest part of the floor um, area and full floor and sill area. I don't want to do too much damage. The floor's a bit dented anyway so ultimately that will all get sorted out um, in the future but the first point, uh, the first part of this job is to remove the front subframe and um, take all the parts off, see what we've got, clean it up and so on. Okay this is proving to be a very simple task. There was a brake pipe that went from here to the subframe down to the brake light switch. I've disconnected the brake light switch. I've removed the pipe that was connecting the two. Um, I've uh, jacked up the subframe to hold it in position when I release the bolts. Here there were some nuts on there some, and uh, some flanges. I don't know if that's correct but that's what was on there anyway. Um, I've removed the truck rod ends from the uh, steering arm from both sides. Uh, there were no dampers fitted um, at this point because like this is you know a project that's been abandoned so lots of parts aren't fitted. Um, as you can see it's got new Cupress brakes and um, complete there. Everything Cupress, all new. The uh, steering rack is new and uh, the subframe has been painted but I don't think very well and I'm not too sure about how well it held in. So anyway it's coming out. So the only thing that's holding the subframe up now is this jack. So I'm next thing is to release the jack carefully and drop the subframe down. Right, the subframe is out. I had to kind of take it out semi sideways because of these studs that are here. Now I think this originally was a hydroelastic car and it's been converted to dry and I'm not sure that it's been done correctly, it may have been, but I'm not sure it has. Um, so I'm going to be doing a bit of reading up and looking at parts, lists and what have you to see how it should be. And um, anyway, whatever it is now, if it's not correct, it will be I'm going to put it back together. So uh, if anyone's noticed things and they're thinking of sending me a message saying, oh, we've got the wrong bit on there, you know, don't worry, I'm going to check it out. And uh, put it correct. But when I put the subframe back in, I think I put the subframe back in without any suspension parts on because it's pretty unwieldy, it's a bit heavy. And um, dragging it out like that, I can see I can see things getting damaged. So let's um, next time, once it's all freshly painted, be bolting it back in um, in such a way that it doesn't um, uh, get damaged or do any harm to anything else. It'll be just easier to use, easier to move around. I've dismantled all the suspension and other components from the subframe. As you can see, they're all laid out on my workshop floor here. Mostly in pretty good condition, so I've got no complaints there. The subframe's not so good, only because it's been painted over uh, some surface rusting with, I think, red oxide primer, judging by that. And I don't know what this black paint is, but it's. I've been taking it off with a twist knot brush and an angle grinder, and it smells like household paint. So that's no good, is it? Um, been on this about an hour, and it's cleaned up pretty well. So by the time I've got this paint off and um, rust treated it and then painted it properly after some rubbing down or whatever, um, I think that'll look pretty good. Right, the mini subframe is now fully cleaned up, removed all the paint and all the corrosion and uh, done most of that physically using a twist knot brush and an angle grinder and uh, it looks a lot better now. It um, took many hours to get this clean um, but I'm fairly pleased with the results and you might think it looks a bit of a funny colour but I've treated it with um, Built Hamber Hydro AT is a rust killer and uh, preventative, so um, I've put one coat on and experimentally put a second coat in some places and I think it needs two coats. So I'm going to put 
further coat of this on, let it dry and then uh, treat it with some appropriate paint. Here's the front subframe on the floor now. Um, it's had two coats of Built Hamber Hydro 80 Rust Killer, Rust Proofer, with the exception of the insides of the towers that's had one coat, it's a little bit awkward to get to. I wanted everything else to be fully dried off and then I'll do the insides of those. Then we've got some decent weather, I'll take it outside, put it on a table and paint it. Been dismantling the gearbox to clean it, inspect it, to see what condition it's in and to rebuild it with new parts as required so long as the condition is good enough. Now it doesn't look so far to be in bad condition at all and it looks like it's been rebuilt fairly recently but I won't know until I've got it fully apart. I've also been checking to see exactly what ratios I've got here now on what iteration of gearbox this is. Now it has a four bolt retainer here which means it's a later box. I think that might be like early A plus if it's A plus at all. Um, and the lay gear is a DAM 3168 lay gear and it has a 18 tooth pinion here. Now that means that this is essentially the close ratio lay gear. It's the same as 1275 GT Cooper S kind of spec and it's a 3.44 to 1 final drive. So it's the one to have. Um, Cooper S is 3.65 to 1, 1275 GT is 3.44 to 1 and I think that this is a 1275 GT unit. Um, maybe a late one. I'm not sure exactly. But it's an A plus engine of sorts. It's not the very latest A plus. It's got a 1275 GT cylinder head on it. It's got a good crank in it and it's got a gearbox which is the sought after one from what I can understand from what I've read. So I'm quite pleased about that. As you can see it's a bit grubby. Uh, it just needs stripping and cleaning. That's very easy to do on a mini gearbox. Doesn't need that much in the way of special tools, just needs a bit of patience and um, care. It's like a jigsaw, basically. Anyway, I'm very pleased with that and um, I'll do another video when I've got it fully stripped to show the condition.